of course I am, but, but there's a girl I knew before, and she's turned up in Folkestone, and somehow... You know what Mr. Kipling said? I've taken my fun where I found it, and now I must pay for my fun. For the more you have known of the other, the less you will settle for one. Well, that's all very well, Mr. Sherlock, but the fact is, Anne, well, that's her name, is more like my own sort, while Helen... Is a lady? Yes. But Arthur, you're a gentleman now, or if not quite, you soon will be. That's what Helen says. She's going to teach me to speak proper and tell me what to wear and catch me out whenever I do something wrong. How reassuring. <laughs> and then her mother, Mrs. Walsingham, wants me to build a house for her. What sort of house? I don't know, but I expect it'll be a big one. You're to spend your money building a large house for a woman who tells you what you're doing wrong. That's about the size of it. And this other young lady, is she more accommodating? She's ever so easy to be with, Mr. Chitlow, but I... But I doubt she wants to see me again. Well, I'm very sorry to hear that. Because it sounds to me like you've taken the bait, Arthur. That. I'm very excited about showing you the plot for the new house tomorrow, Mr. Kipps. It's everything I'd hoped for and more. Can't wait. You've met no, Mr. No, no. Maxwell, our architect. I do. His design will be a palace of wonders, I know it. That's what I'm afraid of. And then when the house is up and running, we ought to start thinking about London. Pick out a simple tune. Pick out a simple tune. Star strumming and before too long you're playing a song and everybody around is humming. Just keep plucking with your plectrum. Make new friends across the spectrum. No one's immune if you pick out a simple tune. And being so fickle gets you in a pickle. You never get anything right. Well, I agree, I said, I have been a fool. Oh, you've lost yourself, Arthur. I was watching you tonight, and you don't know who you are anymore. You can't imagine what it's like. Maybe not. Everything I do is safe, Mother dear. Sorry, Mrs. Walsingham, um, may I present the house? Yes, yes, yes. We don't want the price to sprawl. I, I just want a house that's small enough for two. My mother taking over our life, and nor do I. I want to get away from her as much as you do. But we don't belong to the same world, Helen. The tape last night, I wasn't comfortable at Lady Bunny's. I didn't want to be there. You seemed comfortable enough talking to that serving girl. You see, there you are. To you, Anne is a serving girl, and to me, she is a friend from childhood. We grew up together. Well, shouldn't I have spoken to my old power? Why didn't you explain that? Well, I shouldn't have to. If I choose to be friendly to anyone, servant or king, well, why should I have to explain? Maybe we didn't get much chance to talk. Oh, I can imagine. What with you a guest and her waiting on you? Mm. She told you then. She did. What well, do you think she would meet me if I asked I don't her, know, Arthur. Did. I don't know as I'd want her to. You may have delayed your wedding, but you haven't called it off. You're an engaged man. I'm sorry, but that's the truth of it. You can't blame him, Arthur. He is her brother. Of course you are. You just want what's best for her. And how can I be me when I keep changing my mind? Mr. James Walsingham, a prominent Folkestone financier, has been arrested for fraud and is now in custody awaiting trial. Apparently nothing remains of the many thousands he has embezzled from... gullible customers. Is that the James Walsingham you said you'd invested with? Oh, please, tell me it's not. You are not to stay. I've lost me money. What? Well, no, it's all gone, Capullo. Like, I gave it to a thief, and he'd been speculating while I've been playing the Yankee Banky Jackass for everything I've got. Well, that was a very clever, was it? Well, no, no, I thought you'd be pleased. Why would I be pleased? I'm not against money. I like money. There's nothing wrong with being comfortable. Well, that's not what you said last time. It wasn't the money, Artie. It was the way it changed you, that's what I didn't like. You lost touch with who you are. Well, I know I am now, right enough. So, will you? Will I what? Marry me. And you've broken with her, have ya? Nearly. Nearly? Well, what does that mean? Well, I wanted to cancel the wedding, but she made me delay it. Well, I'm sorry, Artie, but I am not coming near you until she knows the truth. And that's flat. 
Well, it's your show. Yeah, I'm afraid I am. Even though I don't love her, not like... I love you. Even so? I suppose there's nothing for it. But the pier, then. Wait. I'll do it. I will marry you, Artie. Of course I will. Thank you, God. Yeah, but you must tell her. We'll go around there first thing tomorrow. She mustn't learn it from anyone else. Come on. <laughs> oh, you know, Sid and Mary are having their wedding bash at the Hope and Anchor. Yeah, well, what about it? What well, do you say we be into it? I like that, Artie. I don't want to wait. I've waited long enough already. I know I should have done this long ago, so long ago. See what you've been missing. Come here. <laughs> I'm so foolish I didn't see it though. But now I know you were always the one somewhere on the way. I was led astray. How was I so blind? Love is hard to find, but now you're here to stay. Mrs. Walsing. I shall never know a good day again. <laughs> I'm glad you're here because I can tell you how sorry I am. It's my fault. I led you into the whole thing. I'm a grown man and you tried to stop me signing the papers. So it's my fault and it's not yours. I knew it wasn't quite right. I never thought it would be as bad as this, but I knew it wasn't right. You must get a solicitor to see if anything can be saved. I will. But that's not why I've come. You don't need to tell me we're not getting married. It's got nothing to do with the money. I've met someone. Well, I, I met her again. It's the maid I knew when I was a boy. I said there was something between you. Yeah, but there wasn't then. Look, it's just that she knows me, and I know her, and, and we are comfortable together. I, I suppose that's it. And you weren't comfortable with me? I adored you, Helen. Truly, and I admired you. I still do. Well, I should thank you, really. Whatever for? Because you were the person who made me believe in myself again, and I need that. Especially after losing the money. If it's true, then I'm glad. What's next for you? Oh, we'll stay here for the trial, and then it might be best to move away. I could be a governess, perhaps. Or a teacher, anyway. You're a good teacher. I need to lie down, Helen. My head is beating like a drum. I'll take you upstairs, Mama. <laughs> is there anything I can do? No. We'll manage. We must go. And Arthur. I wish you such happiness in the future. Both of you. From the bottom of my heart. You too. And remember what your father told you. There's so much you'll achieve when you start to believe in you. Goodbye, Helen. Bride, any different grooms, so that's different enough for anyone. <laughs> oh, it's good we're all together again. You, me, Pierce, Sid, Flo. Oh, I never asked. Do you want me to see you if old Shawford will take you back? I don't mind. That's kind of you, Sid, but somehow I don't see myself as a draper no more. You look a proper gentleman today. Uh, Hold it, flashbang, what a, what a picture, clean, what a picture, what a photograph. Poor old soul, bloody, what a joke. Hat blown off in a cloud of smoke, hat pants. Journey for nothing. Oh, well, I haven't, my dear lady. Quite the reverse. My play, The Right Horse, it opened last night on Salisbury Avenue! Sure. You're going that far? Well, well, blow me down even if only runs a week. That's quite an achievement. And? Was it well received? The audience was glittering. Oh. The theatre, it was packed. Oh, no. I hoped to hear some tittering quite early in the act. But then I heard a belly laugh. Oh. And then I heard 
spilled throughout the second half to rapturous applause. Hold it. What's the verdict? Hold it. Are you famous? Hold it. Up and down the street, people clamoring to buy a seat. And you're rich! Again! I'm rich again! And for my part, I'm glad it's come now, not before. I've learned the value of money. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.